Now sometimes when you're editing video, what you want to do is edit the audio part of your clip separately to the video part of your clip. For example, you might want to have titles at the end of a production and you want the audio from your final clip to carry on going with the titles over the top but not with the video showing. So how do we do that? It's as simple as holding the ALT key on a PC or the OPTION key on a Mac. So when I hold the ALT key and select my clip, just the audio, I can pull the audio out so that I could then drop titles above and I still got the ambience of the audio going underneath. This is often known as an L cut because you've got the letter L created by how it looks. And sometimes people like to put titles at the front and they might want to do the same at the beginning of their production and you can do exactly the same thing by holding the ALT key and this is known as a J cut and you could put some titles in there or whatever you wanted. Now once they have been edited, if you then select them without holding the ALT key, you'll find that they act as one clip and when you try and trim them, they will trim together. So if you want to trim them separately, you need to go back and hold the ALT key and then you can choose one bit and trim it separately. Another example of when I might want to use this is to get rid of the audio from one clip and pull the audio of another clip underneath. So for example, this clip here has obviously got a very quiet ambient noise underneath, whereas I might want to have this quite noisy C going underneath this clip. So I'm going to deselect the clip, hold the ALT key and select just the audio portion and hit delete. It's gone. And then holding the ALT key, I'm selecting the clip before and I can pull the ambience of that clip underneath the seagulls flying around clip. So I've got the same sound all the way through to give a more consistent audio underneath the video that I'm showing. So that's how we can use the ALT key or the OPTION key to select just the video or just the audio portion of a particular clip. Not only that, we can also completely unlink clips. So I've got a clip at the end here, the Pebbles clip. If you right click on it, you can actually choose this one that says unlink. And when you click unlink, the audio and the video become completely independent clips that you can move around however you like. You can always relink them later by selecting them both, right click and click link, and then they're one clip that work together, but also we get a little bit of feedback telling us that the video has been offset by 4 seconds and 17 frames from the audio. And if we want to unlink those and reset them up, we can unlink and pull them back. So there are times, I'm going to relink those, there are times when it is valuable to be able to unlink a clip to be able to merge it with another clip underneath. There is actually a merge option for merging two separate clips which might be say audio from an external audio recorder that you want to merge in with another clip. So there are merge options as well but this particular option is an option to link and unlink tracks. One other thing about moving clips around if I drop in a clip, I've got this little clip here and I select it and I want to drop it into my timeline here and I hit the comma key for insert edit it's actually cut my audio and I might want to have inserted it into my timeline here but I didn't want my audio cut Control Z to undo to be able to stop another track further down from being cut when you insert a clip you can turn off this little icon here which is called the toggle sync lock if you toggle it off and then you were to select your clip and do an insert edit it's cut the layer above but it's not affected the layer below. Some people like to lock the clip. This is the lock button in here which will also have the same effect but the only problem with that is I can't actually get in to edit this clip in any way shape or form once the locks in place. So you've got toggle sync lock which will stop you being able to cut this track and lock option to be able to physically turn the track off and make sure nothing can happen to it.